Hello and welcome. I'm Sharon Gilmore Glover. Thanks for joining me here at Clarity for the Boss. Today I want to talk about vision and the importance of vision. Not visionary planning, but the vision for your business. What are you building? Vision is critically important. It's aspirational and inspirational. And on a more pragmatic level, it also informs what you're building. What is this thing that you're building? There are sort of three basic big models for businesses. What do you want your business to do for you? If you're going into business for yourself, do you want it to be an income replacement venture? Do you want to be able to make the same kind of money you could make in an income, but do it on your own time with flexibility from your own home or um, you know, working in collaboration with people that you really like without some of the restrictions of being employed by other people? Do you want an income replacement business? Your vision you would flesh your vision out around that then. Or are you interested in growing a small business, a business that maybe employs some people, it provides really important services to a, a local area and becomes an important part of that community. Or are you interested in growing an entrepreneurial venture? Uh, the difference between a small business and an entrepreneurial venture is less about size and a lot more about scope and thinking. A small business really is rooted in the local community in which it serves. It's critically important to that community. It provides very important services. An entrepreneurial venture generally means that you've found a new way to deliver value or a new way to do something or you're disrupting uh, an already existing service or product. Richard Branson, we often think of entrepreneurial ventures as doing something completely new, like Apple and the iPad, and of course that's a huge organization now. But Richard Branson, who is the founder and chairman of the Virgin Group of Companies, his approach to entrepreneurship is to look at markets that are saturated, like the cola market, and think about ways that he can bring better value. He looks at markets where there are lots and lots and lots of opportunities, but he doesn't feel that consumers are being well served. He finds a way to bring new value to an existing market. So one of the very first things that you need to do when you are setting up your own business or if you're at a, you've got a business of your own and you feel like you're on the hamster wheel is to step back and think, what am I building? What's my vision? Income replacement, small business, entrepreneurial venture. Very different thinking, very different approach and different strategies to all three. Thanks for joining me this morning. I'll see you next time.